Welcome everybody to the Broku Cast, episode 24. This is, this is everyone, well, this is everyone's favorite Tokusatsu podcast. And I'm your host, Aaron, or you call me Broku, whatever, whatever you prefer. And uh, here today on this, on this, on this, I can't talk. <laughs> here today on this episode, we're going to talk about a lot of things, a lot of controversial stuff, and a lot of Toku, and some non Toku as well. So, that's. So let's begin. Okay, so let's start with the controversial. Let's start with the controversial one out of the way. Let's talk about the proud family. The louder and prouder. Oh boy. <laughs> now I can talk about this stuff because, well, I'm black. So, for those who don't know, for those who don't know what's going on, a couple of, like what? I think like what? I think what? This last week, the, uh, the proud family, louder and prouder, just ended season two. I watched all season two. I prefer season two over season one because season one was just felt like it was trying to get in the same boots as the original, but while while being a uh, reboot, and I didn't like that. But the final, uh, but people are getting mad at the at the final uh, episode loud and proud because of a scene. What scene? Black people standing up for themselves against against slavery. And people are calling it woke. And they're also the same people that are saying that, oh, the original, the original cartoon never talked about this stuff. R- really? Really? Never did? Because uh, I watched the original cartoon when I was a kid. Hell, I'm still re watching on Disney Plus for this very day. I even bought the fucking DVD from my Walmart. And uh, I could pretty much say that I could pretty much say that the original show talked about a lot of stuff too. Like what? Well, xenophobia, racism, homophobia, ho- homophobic stuff too. Oh uh, yeah, sexism. So I keep going. There's many more things. But if you don't believe me, go watch go watch the original Plow Family show for yourself on Disney Plus and come back to me. Just saying. And for those that are saying this, and for those that are saying this show's anti-white, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. They, no, it's not. They have a, they have, they have a friend in the group. You know, Zoe, the the only white friend in the group that supports them. And guess what? Guess what? Even even she's standing with her friends on this. White people don't see the problem with this, but guess what? Th- that's the pr- that's the issue. Of course, they don't see a problem with it. It's fucking disgusting. As a black person, this this is this is this is a problem in media. Not even before before media. This this been a problem ever since it first happened in day one. It's fucking disgusting how people how people are saying that this is anti white. No, it's not. I'm not trying to get political here for a record. I hate politics, but I'm just saying this. I'm just saying this as nicely as possible. White people, <laughs> people who are saying that people are saying that this show anti-white, this reboot is anti-white or woke. Shut up! It's not. It's neither of those. And the word woke is fucking stupid. I'm sorry. What does that word have? What does that word have? That's like oh, oh. Oh, this this show this this show this drone this drone Velma the worst TV show twenty twenty three woke. No, not fucking woke. Now Velma's dog shit and garbage. Don't get me wrong, I hate that show. That that show's garbage. Thank God I'm not watching it. The Proud Family isn't all that. No, you're just being fucking racist because you don't see the damn problem with this. That scene is talking about slavery and how and all the black kids in that show, all the students, I'll say, and Zoe, who isn't black, she's white, but yet, but yet, I just, no, I'm not saying but yet, she's standing by her friend's side and supporting the whole thing, which I approve of, calling out the racism. And the fucking media and, and other people and non black people, people, non person of color, I'll say, don't see a prop or don't see a problem with that, and that's fucking disgusting. And what are my thoughts on the revival? Well, season one wasn't the best, 
but it was trying to get there. I had my issues with that. Then it was the pacing was off. The jokes didn't land. It was a rough start, I can say. Season two improved a lot. Of that and it felt like that. It felt like that they took a lot of criticism from season one, and that works perfectly. And I like that. And it was good. Season two hit me a lot for personal reasons. Especially, especially the episode where Penny's younger brother had autism, and uh, damn, that actually hit me as someone who has well autism. I have ADHD, so yeah, and uh, yeah, that actually hit me. That in the final episode as well, June the teenth. If you know, you know. And uh, yeah. Also, just also just FYI, just it's uh, it's Black History Month. In a black cartoon talking about something on Black History Month. I loved it. No, for real, a black cartoon talking about this, talking about this stuff, this tragic stuff happening, happening a long time ago on Black History Month in this year. I loved it. I loved, I loved it because we need more like black television shows that talk about this, sir, talk about the racism stuff. In modern television, and the Plow family did it, did it really good in the revival, and I loved it. So yeah, moving aside from that, uh, let's talk about Decker Ranger. <laughs> oh boy, Decker Ranger! Ooh, booey, Decker Ranger! Now, if you saw my video, I talk about, I talk about how yeah, I didn't like the, I didn't like that release, and no, I didn't like the release. And, a few, and I got I got like two comments from someone saying that to be fair, to be fair, the DVD cover, the DVD cover, he he says something about the DVD cover, but in Toei, all right, all right, let me get the comments up. All right, all right. Look at the comments. Ah, yeah, yeah. Do 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 do. All right. All right. All right. All right. What the hell? Oh shit. Okay, let me go here. Sorry guys, this sorry guys, this is a uh, priest <laughs> silence right now. Ooh, my bad. All right, all right. The con oh, he said this to be far. He spelled fair wrong, by the way. Just want to clarify that. To be fair, to be fair on the cover. This is all. All this stuff is proven by Toei, considering the original cover picture to. Pits to have an image on this side. Seen Papa Toby isn't sending much. Now let me respond to that. I highly doubt that. I call bullshit. Now here's why. If 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 that's the case, then explain to me why the hell I found way bad picture a PNG image that Shout couldn't use for the cover instead of a instead of a reused picture from S from the from the SPD pick SPD cover for from Shout. And I'm talking about Shout literally Shout released like every Power Rangers season on DVD. And uh, the cover they used for Decker Ranger, the same picture from the SPD one. SPD release. And hell, I found hell, I'm using a better PNG image that I that I found. Well shit, I take I, I technically made. Well I would say made, but I found on Google for this thumbnail for this video. And yet, look at this. Look at the PNG image on the freaking thumbnail. Explain to me how you explain to me how you shout can use that. I'm just saying that I'm, I'm just saying I'm just saying shout. You guys were pretty dirty with the release. Also, why the hell is everyone's copy either one broken or two destroyed? And don't get me started on the stolen subs because that's just dis that's that's just disappointing. Because damn. I was really looking forward for Deck Ranger being released in North America. <laughs> oh, sorry. But the way I, but the way I had to release it this year, 
but the way I need to release it, we're fucking dirty. Now, to be fair, I had a feeling that uh, they wanted TV Nihon to do the sales for this one, just like just like their Kruger DVD, because well, Decker Ranger is a fan favorite. But uh, but TV Nihon got the season desist around 2021 with Toei, unfortunately. So. So that is a big oof, but at least got at least got like a different fan sub group or someone to translate that. Don't just steal the sub. That's just well scummy. And it sucks though, cause I I'm still gonna buy a Sentai DVD, they're going wrong. I'm excited for Magic Ranger, Bo Kinger, not Go Kaiger. Even though I have to go buy that for Cure Uger and many other my favorite Sentai after Go Kaiger. It's just, ah, uh, damn, they really, they, they, yeah, they really fucked up on decorating. That breaks my heart. Like, again, they couldn't use, like, they couldn't have used, like, better PNG images for the thumbnail, for the picture. Just saying. Because, damn, that, that's just fucking lazy. No, no joke, that, that's real, that literally just fucking lazy, though. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. Ay. Ay, ay, ay. And I uh, don't get me, you know, about the subs again. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, Shao. That's just, yeah, no, Shao. You just fucked up on that. You just fucked up on that. That's just disappointing. I honestly give, so, if I had to rank all the releases that I have in my, if I had to bring, if I had to rank all the four Sentai DVDs that I have in my I have with me, uh, number one would be Abba Ranger, two would be Hurricane, three would be Live Man, four would be Decker Ranger, cause damn they really did Decker Ranger dirty. At least the Live Man, not Live Man, sorry, at least the Five Man, at least the Five Man self were somewhat good, but at the same time they didn't, same time they didn't work out in my while watching the show. But still, damn it, damn they really, damn I'm not happy. I'm not happy how they treated decorating that decorating. That's that's just getting me mad, to be honest. <sighs> Disappointing. Disappointing. So, let's talk about merchandise. What merchandise? Is Lightning Collection still going off? Well, yeah, Light Lightning Collection is still being treated like crap. Hasbro's laying off, well, apparently, no, I think I said it, Hasbro just let go of one of the, one of the workers, who, 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 like what, a freaking sculptor? Yeah, a sculptor for the Power Rangers Lightning Collection and also G.I. G. Joe Classify uh, teams. And uh, they let him go. Okay, Hasbro, what the fuck is going on over there? Why are you guys being so stubborn right now? Like, Jesus Christ. Like, what the hell's going on? The Power Ranger Twitter account is silent for Black History Month. Just saying. There'll be, like, no news of Power Rangers to be on. Well, to be fair, right now, Power Rangers isn't in the best rep isn't in the best look due to the fact that, uh, well, Cosmic Fury, if you know, you know what I'm talking about. But Jesus Christ, Hasbro, what the hell's going on over there? Why can't y'all not be like Tamashi? Like, look, okay, look at Tamashi. Tamashi take the criticism from from every release that come out for every brand, and they fix that, and, and they fix that for the next release, so so the so the quality and customer service gets better and better. Why can't y'all not be like Tamashi? I get it, okay, I get it. They're a Japanese company. You guys are an American company. I totally. That's totally unfair for me to compare you to, but like, but yet at the same time, at least Tamashi listened to the feedback. What the fuck is Hasbro doing right now? <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. Hasbro, don't get me wrong. Hasbro say that, Hasbro saying they listen to the fans. But, uh, Hasbro, are you really right now? Because right now, you guys are under a lot of fire for all the shit you're doing with, with the, with the Power Engine line, like, for fuck's sake. 
people got crappy versions of Izzy, Lucas, Coda, Damon, Kira, and, and that's just sad. And the worst part that I'll, I'm one of those victims. My first copy of Kira broke because, well, I was posing her and her and her arm broke. Thanks, Hasbro. Thanks, Hasbro. Beautiful QC issue from Hasbro. <sighs> And yet, this is yeah, this is why I decided to cancel that freaking top ten lightning collection video because I couldn't make it in time. That video, that video ain't coming out for the record, so yeah. Damn, Hasbro, you guys are really not doing that good right now. And no, I'm not gonna stop buying from this line, but damn it, I want Hasbro to treat the villain, the hero, the, same, the hero figures. The same way I had to treat their villain figure. Cause I heard a lot of good things about the army builders. But yeah, why can't yeah, why can't the ranger get the same treatment? Just saying. Just saying. Just saying, Hasbro. What's the, the, what the hell's the problem? Because Jesus Christ. I don't know why the fuck Hasbro's taking so many else lately. But, but that's just sad. Ay, ay, ay. Speaking of lightning collection, so apparently, uh, we're, we're, apparently we're getting like Power Rangers Samurai for lightning collection. Now, as many know this on Twitter and on uh, well, on my social media as well, I'm not the biggest fan of Samurai, but I will be getting a figure, just for Shin Kenjin. That's it, because Shin Kenjin is one of my favorite Sentai's, and uh, having having that team in my collection is a fuck yeah. <laughs> Also, I love the theme song too. So yeah, but yeah, the lightning collection. Yeah, no. I'm just gonna say this: if you want like Toku figures that aren't that are, that are, like close to Power Rangers, just stick with just stick with your Sentai figure arts. They may be 1.0 and lose, but at the same time, try to get a few lightning collection that are, are that are in decent articulation, but at the same time. Just stick with your Sentai figure arts. Or just be like me, just stick with Comrade figure arts for right now. Because, well, that's the best thing oh, that's the best thing to do. Because I don't do D I don't do Sodos. I don't do RKX. I don't do none of that stuff because that those those toy lines aren't for me. Especially Sodos. I just don't like stickers. <laughs> yeah, I just don't like stickers. <laughs> So yeah, that's so yeah, that's what's up on that. So, yeah, that's a so. But speaking of common rider, Jeet. Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. Dude, dude, I can't lie. Jeet is getting on my good side. Every time there's a new episode, it. I think say I think say the last podcast, but every time there's a brand new episode, Jeet's happening. I get more and more excited for it because, damn, Levi's really, really put me to sleep, you can say, with the final arc being just boring. In the final episode, final battle didn't, didn't get me emotional. I was, like, unhappy about it. It was unsatisfying to me. But Jeet's right now, Jeet's right now really getting my good side. Like fuck. I say it to my friends. I'll say it here again. Every time the new episode of G's coming out, I, I can feel this show being my top 10. And it's getting there slowly right now. And God damn it. I fucking love it. And speaking of Jeet, the Tomashi Nation live stream that happened every, like, what, two weeks? There's supposed to be another one happening this Thursday. So put the reminder on, on the YouTube channel. I did. And, uh, well, I can't wait for the real Nago because once they do that shit... I'm gonna premium Bandai you at put my pre order in for her, then I'll call it a day. Then I can save for the fucking two guys in memorial. Aw oh, shit, that 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 ain't gonna pinch that thing's gonna bind the ass. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't know. Uh they're making a two guys in memorial for Zen Kaijin. Uh, I want it. I want it. I, I had the Kira Major I had the Kira Major Kira Major Memorial and uh this Zen Kaiser, this two Kaiser Memorial really caught my attention too. Yeah, I don't even fucking like Go Kaiser, and yet same time Zox Zox had nothing to do with those mid ass pirates. Oh, God, I'm gonna lie here for saying that mid ass mid ass pirates. 
those mid pirates. And that's that's what I love with the guy. Also, I fucking love his actor. Zox is just cool. Zox is just cool. Yo ho hoy! <laughs> Zox is just cool. Zox is just a cool guy. He's just uh real I love Zox. Oh lady Kaizu I can't sing so right now. But yeah. But yeah, I do I have I do want that, you know. Right now I'm trying to save money. If my if I'm trying to say I'm trying to say a lot of money right now. How's the going, bro? Well, wow, the money part not that good, not that fucking good. <laughs> That's for sure. But don't worry, we'll get there. We'll get there. So right now, my best bet is to save and stop buying fucking DoorDash. I'm sorry, okay. I bought DoorDash today two times. I was too hungry. I was too lazy to cook. I was too I was too lazy to to reheat fucking fries in the my in my uh air fryer. So. Yeah, I order sheets for breakfast slash lunch and uh, Wendy's from, for dinner. And I'm watching O-Ranger. Fuck. Oh, yeah. I didn't, oh, yeah. I finished my Deck Ranger rewatch. The, show, the show's still peak. The subs are ass. Disappointed about those. And uh, I'm just going I'm, I'm to I'm just gonna stick with the TV Nihon stuff from now on. So, moving on with that. Also, yeah, O Ranger. I watched. I started O Ranger this week because at the at, at the Tech Ranger, I promised a friend of mine I will watch O Ranger, and uh, well, what I think, dude, O Ranger's fucking. Why well, can't I say about O Ranger? Best way, ah, right, it's boring. Like it's fucking boring. Don't care for the mechs, even though the mechs look good. Even though, even though, even though I like I love the mech suits, I, I like the mech. But at the same time, I don't care for them. The mech fights are boring. The only character, the only character I like in the show is O Red. Cause well, he well he's like the only he he, he like the only saving grace for the show, and that doesn't say much. It's all yellow, but at the same time she's just she's all right, and also she's a fucking milf. She's eye candy, but yet I call her a fucking milf because that's what she looks like, and that's what she is to me. She's a fucking milf in that show. <laughs> So yeah, we have a badass leader and a MILF. <laughs> okay, what about Old Pink? Don't care for Old Pink. She, she, her voice is so annoying. She needs to shut up. Old Green or Blue? Don't care. Blue can fuck off. I really don't care for. I really, I really don't care for others. And that's it. I really don't care. What about the Commander? Big One slash V Three. He's alright. I, I'm not. I, I don't see the hype of him. So yeah, and that's pretty much it for O Ranger though. O Ranger just garbage. I'm like twelve. I'm like actually, I'm, I'm, I'm I start episode thirteen, but I pause it because I don't want to watch no more for tonight. Yeah, I'm thirteen episodes in right now, and yeah, it's boring as shit. <laughs> there's like nothing. There's like nothing happening <laughs> for it because my God. I could totally see the I could totally see the downsides of what the fuck happened at the episode eight with, with with Japan and all that. Damn, this show really just fuck. I said to my friend that this show make Five Man, Lupat, and Revive enjoyable. Yeah, I don't even like any of those shows. Oh, speaking of Lupat, happy the five year anniversary to the most mid Sentai season. And that's the only and that's the only thing you hear me say about Lupat. Happy happy five happy five year anniversary, Kai, Toma, and Yumika. You guys are literally like the best part of the show, and that and that doesn't say much. Come out, we go out, we go out. Well, if you if you're gonna be on it, only like three. Well, ah, can't talk. Fuck. Well, if I'm gonna be on it, there's only like what three fucking characters in Lupat, and that's just that's just them. That's like that's just them. That's it. That's just them. <laughs> who the Panther Rangers? The who? They don't have no characters. Moving on. And I uh, and I uh, always said and I always said always said nice thing about about the Lupin Ranger about Lupin in general on my Twitter, and, you, and that's all. That's 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 all y'all gonna hear from me saying about that. Moving on. And uh, yeah, back to saying yeah, Orange is boring. <laughs> Orange is so boring, dude. Oh my goodness. I never thought Sanderson would be this boring. Fuck. 
And the worst part that next after O Ranger, I promise friend I'll be watch Time Ranger if O Ranger pissed me off. And well, O Ranger pissed me off, alright. And now I gotta rewatch Time Ranger again. Fuck. What's wrong with Time Ranger? Time Ranger fan favorite. It is, but here's the thing. I don't like Time Ranger. I watched Time Ranger I watched Time Ranger back in twenty twenty. Well in twenty twenty when the pandemic began, you know. Well, it was it was the most boring show I ever watched. The only thing I remember from the show that I enjoyed, I still like the very day time fire, that's it. That's it. All the other characters I really don't give a shit or care about. The villains are just the villains are just whatever. The five ranger I really don't care. Yellow's annoying, green's stupid, pink is just well, she's Japanese gen. Red is just an annoying version of rest and blue. Overrated. I just he, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, Time Blue's overrated. And people feel sad, people feel sorry for him because of his freaking, uh, subplot about, about him and his disease. Now, I want to say this, someone on Twitter tried to, someone on Twitter tried to call me a bad guy, well, not a bad guy, but someone on Twitter did not like it while trying to make a joke about Time Blue. Let me say this, I will not take, I will not be an asshole about, about, about diseases and all that, about life issues. Hell no, that's not me. That's not fucking me. I would never do that. In real life. But since this character is fixed, no, I'm not gonna, no, no, you know. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say that. Moving, take away the Time Blue subplot about, about his, about his heart disease problem out of the way. I really can't find anything else interesting about this guy. That's just my opinion. <laughs> and don't get started. Don't get me started on the theme song. The theme song's garbage. Oh my god! First time, first time listening to first time listening to a theme song. I'm like, ugh, ew, yeah, ew, no, this is ass. This is garbage. Ew, I'm gonna piss off Time Ranger fans for saying that. <laughs> Ew, this is garbage. Yeah, it is. It's garbage. It's garbage. It's garbage. It's fucking garbage. Hell, Gal Ranger's theme song way right better than this garbage. Just saying. I don't even like Gal Ranger because that show's boring. Gal Silver was like the only exception for that show, but yet, yeah, same time, it doesn't say him because well, he's just. He's Japanese Merrick, and that's it. And I like Merrick way more than him. So yeah. Any anyway, that's just yeah. That's just pretty much it. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think about Jeets. Sorry, but like, but uh, yeah. Though I'm really loving Jeets though. I feel Revis didn't Revis didn't satisfy me in the second half because my God, the first half was so fucking good. And that's it. That first half satisfied the shit out of me. The second half, when Vice's voice actor appeared in the show, being Ichi's coach, that episode just felt like Toei was sucking off Vice's voice actor's dick. I hate saying that. No, no let me phrase that. It felt like the it felt like Toei was sucking off Vice's voice actor so much. I'm like, okay, buddy. Okay, but I get it. Okay, you, you're not only racist, but you also have a huge ego you, that that you need to shut up about. Like I, I really don't want to see your face on the on my screen. I'll literally think about. I'll literally think about. I'll literally think about when that when that episode came out. I'm like, should I really watch this? Because this episode just filler and fuck. I don't want to see Vice's actor, voice actor in this episode. I don't even like the guy. But uh, I watch it. It was boring. It was boring. Moving. It was boring. It was just boring. We watched the first half was so fucking good, and I love that shit. Don't care for G. Don't don't care for uh Gina. I'm sorry, Gina fans. Sorry, Sakura fans. I just don't like that character. If I if if I had to rank all the all the Igarashi family members, well characters. So I'll put Iki and Vice separate. 
I'll put E King A, Vice and B because I said in my I said in my podcast episode that I prefer Vice more serious instead of comedic. Because that's where Vice's character hit his peak level, in my opinion. Daiji, I like Daiji. I actually do like him. I like him and Kagalo. But man, the fucking uh the his fucking arc I I told him I actually understand his arc completely to be honest. But at the same time, his arc was messy in the in the, in the second half with with the freaking emo boy coming back and fusing him to create a, to create a brand new recolor form, and yet that form is that form is in the hand of a fucking memorial. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, Bandai released as a revised a memorial vice stamp set of even he live. Gene's god ugly new form that's fucking stupid. And oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah, a reissue looked like a, of a voice line version of the Rex Vice stamp, and that's it. Oh uh, yeah, f- yeah, freak yeah. Uh, the the life vi- the life Vice stamp comfort Demon Vice stamp. But the thing, the Demon Vice stamp doesn't do jack shit. So I don't know why Ben I added into there. Just saying. But hey, if you're missing like your freaking demons driver one, you can't you can't this you can't use this one anyway. So moving on. So yeah, but I was saying, yeah, Vice is uh Iki's A, Vice is B, Vice is I, I prefer Vice more serious because his serious side is when he hit is, is his peakest is his peakest moment peakest side for his character in my opinion. Daiji, I understand your character. I, I understand Daiji's arc a lot in the show. Even though I'm not like a middle child. I'm actually the firstborn child between me and my brother. But I, I, I understand his character arc perfectly. So I'm going to put... I will, I will put Daiji in A. Just for that. The dad... I'll put the dad and mom. I fucking love the two in S. Because goddamn, those two work perfectly for the support family members. In, in the family, duh, the mom and dad. Also, I fucking love Genta. That guy, that guy is just funny. <laughs> the whole time watching the show. Uh, let's see, Aguilera. Well, I like her more than Sakura, so I'm gonna put her in an uh, S. Tamaki, A. I fucking love this guy. Julio. Not wait, wait, hold on. Tamaki is the same person. Fuck them. I mean, uh, Oteka, Oteka. C. <sighs> I can say Ben. I can say Ben. I can say Ben for Dell after uh, defeat Hoteka. I ha- I had a hate bone for this guy. Don't hate him anymore. Just don't. Just don't care for him. Moving on. George. Yeah, George going to D. They really ruined my boy's character arc with the whole Druga stuff, and I hate that suit and that arc. So moving on. Moving on the way. Uh, what else? Vale. Don't care for Vale. He going F tier. The villains are garbage for Revi. So F tier again. <laughs> And uh, Aguilera, not Aguilera, sorry, she's asking me, uh, Sakura, D, moving on, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's my list. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, Aaron, what about Loku, and uh, well, oh, Loku, uh, I'll just make a category, say, who the hell is she, because I really don't, I really don't, I really did not get emotional for that character. I really did not care for Loku. <laughs> I'm not trying to sound like an asshole, but I just really didn't care for Loku when she appeared in the show. I'm like, okay, she got a plushie. I I really didn't care for it like everyone else did. Sorry, it's just I just I just didn't care for her. I just didn't care for 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 Sakura or her freaking uh or her freaking well uh, Akima Loku. I didn't care. She goes in D as well. The only Sakura that I support and fucking love is Bokin Pink. That, 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 god damn it. She's the guilt. <laughs> well, Bo, well, she, well, she's one of my favorite pinks too, so yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I feel like what Revi disappointed me on is what, what Jesus is doing right now. First half. Yeah, that the second half with, when, uh, Revi second half in my opinion, it's way worse than Bill's second half. It uh the tone really shifts from being good to well average at best. And uh man, they man, they 
I get it, okay? I get it, okay? I get it, okay? They were out, they were trying to fan the show fast pop for Jeets. But damn! That, man, they, they, they really, they really, they really did fucked up. <laughs> they really did fucked up, and that just breaks my heart. Wait a minute, we're here and move. Oh, I forgot about here and move. Fuck, I love this guy. Yeah, I forgot about him. He goes in S. <laughs> just saying, he goes in S. So, yeah. You know, yeah, though. I really, I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping that G to this whole, I'm really hoping that G second half gets on my good side. Because right now, it's getting out there. It, it's slowly going up there in my top ten, if you speak. You know what? I'm, I can't really get my hands on the figure art really soon. And that's pretty cool. I should be, I should, I should be getting like an email this week from uh, Ami Ami for a payment request for it. I can't wait for that. And yes, I will be doing pictures. I will be doing a toy review on that figure. So yeah, expect that. <laughs> so yeah, though. I'm re yeah, though, I'm really loving G so far. G's just uh, getting on my good side a lot. And now I'm... <laughs> And because that I'm actually tempted now to go buy Desire, uh, I'm going I'm really tempted now to go buy a freaking uh, Desire Driver, and a fucking and the Tycoon I core I decor off eBay. Why eBay? Not, why not Target's website? Well, I like Target at the same time. I don't feel like buying a toy from Japan. <laughs> I say that. I say that. Wait, I'm okay. I'm gonna forget that. Right now, I don't feel like I don't. Right now, I don't feel like paying for twenty dollars shipping from a toy from Japan. I say that right now, we really, really soon I'm going to get a uh, payment request from Ami Ami for my Jeets. <laughs> the irony, but you don't want to try to say right now. So yeah, right now Jeets is getting my good side. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Not not going K Wash some of my favorite characters in the show. I have a K Wash shirt I bought off Amazon from Team Comrade. I have I have a Nago shirt I have a Nago shirt in my cart and wanna go buy that. You go, well well, I wanna support both my favorite characters in the show. <laughs> so yeah. So how do I rank the characters? Okay, so it's like K Wash, Nago, Buffa, and Ace. But the Ace then Buffa. I like because well, I really love I really I'm really loving the rivalry between Buffa and Ace. It gave me a uh better describe it. Okay. It's giving me a uh, some type of vibe. It gave me a rivalry vibe that I wanted in Kamen Rider, but yeah, I never got in lot in Kamen Rider. You know, well I love it. Uh, yeah, they brought it here. Yes, I know I know. I know. Blade did it too. Yet, yet if yeah, I'm getting the same energy from G, yeah, I'm getting the same energy from Blade into Jeets now. So yeah, I know Ryuki did it. Save our game. Even though I did, even though I think Ryuki did it horribly, horrible. Yeah, even though I think Ryuki did it pretty badly because the rivalry vibe wasn't even fully there in my opinion. And Gaim, well, Gaim's overhyped, so I'm moving on. I don't need to say much about Gaim. Not trying to shit talk no one. Not trying to shit talk no one that likes Guy, but just I just don't care for that show. Yeah. And um yeah and uh yeah. <laughs> Jesus Jesus getting really good. I love it. I can't wait for Nago's figure. I'm just hoping Tamashi release an Aoi Kaijin form. Tamashi, you know what you know you know what you must do. Listen, Tamashi. I'm the biggest Black Sun fan. Do this for me. I will buy the fucking human figure art. I pre-ordered the bike already, by the way. Rip my wallet for that, but I had I had to did I had to do it. I pre-ordered the bike already. I will buy the human figure art. Just give me Aoi's Kaizen form so I can have my fucking trio of female riders for 2022. I have Aguilera. I'll have Nago on pre-order really soon. Just give me Aoi in her kaijin form, then we will be fucking celebrating. We will be cooking. I will probably be the only few who buy it, but still, I don't care. I want that. I fucking want that. If you... <laughs> Listen, no joke. I will fucking buy that. I will. Do it. 
Tamashi. Don't be scared. My good friend, a nerd named Mark, made a did on his Jeep reveal asking Premium Bandai to put the fucking, put k sponsor up on their website so they can buy it. This is my, this is basically me right now with you, Tamashi. Get me Alois Kaijin form. Because once that shit comes down to be revealed, I'm fanboying. I will buy that shit. Hell fucking yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, Black Sun, fuck. <laughs> fuck. But I know, I know, I know. You don't, I know. I know. It's not for everyone. That's fair. But listen, I fucking love Black Sun, too. It's hard to say this, but like, the last time a comedy show got me this hype and fully excited before Jeets was fucking Build. And Blade. Hell, Decade. Hell, all the writer shows on my top, all the, all the, all the comedy shows on my top ten list. Yet, Black Sun felt like the show was meant for me. For a personal reason, because, well, if you know, you know why. And, uh, that shit hits. That shit hits me emotionally. And uh, I loved it. I loved the dynamic between Kotaro and Nomisko. Aoi, 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 Aoi defending her side of or if Kaizen matters or not. And I love that shit. The writing, the, the fucking soundtrack. I love the end of these themes to the show. Do you see the sunrise? That song, that song on my fucking Spotify on repeat every day, <laughs> and, it's on, and it's on my Apple Music as well. So, yeah, Alwi, fuck, fuck. Okay, listen, Alwi, basically my Sakura, a black sun. Well, shit, she's well, shit, she's better than Sakura, and, and that doesn't say much for Sakura's character, <laughs> but. Or I'm talking about Gene, not Bulk and Pink. So I just want to clarify that. It's back on saying, Alibi, Alibi just fuck. She's just, damn it. This girl fucking bad. At the same time, I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed the actress's performance in the show. And it's just, it's really good stuff. And Frank, that uh, when the show started, I had to go look up. Saying, wait a minute, hold on. Is this, is this character? Is this character new? Cause I don't I don't remember her from the original show. Yeah, no, yeah, no, she wasn't in the original show. She, she, she was a brand new character. <laughs> and I got remember I watched Black, I watched Comrade Black back in like what twenty twenty one, and uh well, <laughs> and uh well, <laughs> I was dumb, <laughs> I could say, but yeah though, Black Sun's very really good. I recommend it if if you have an Amazon Prime account. Just type in on your Amazon Prime account, Comrade Black Sun. All 10 episodes on there, they're like, what, one hour long? But at the same time, at the same time, I'll say this. Don't binge all 10 episodes on the same day like I did. Right now, it took me two days to binge watch the whole entire show. Watch one episode per day because, because that's the perfect, because that's the perfect way for you to still be enjoying the show. I got I know I know there are people out there who 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 didn't call entry to the show. But I'll say this. Watch one episode per day and that will help you. That those are my words. So you're welcome. <laughs> but yeah though, uh yeah Tamashi, give me Ali's Kaijin form. I even said this shit in my fucking Aguilera Figure out review. Give me that form. Give me her human form and her, and her kaijin form. I would buy that. Tamaj over here. Tamaj over here ducking my calls. Like, okay, guy. So this. Okay, okay guy. So so this Toku tuber named Bukusatsu want this and this. So we give it to him. You know what? He happy. He happy take good pics of our products. I think. I think we should. I think we should give him a favor. Boy, listen. If they do that, I'm losing my shit. I'm losing my shit. I'm losing my fucking shit because god damn it. Lately Tamashi have been teasing me with a lot of good shit this in Black History Month. They they're releasing two more G form which is well which is well the fucking uh <laughs> fuck. What the well boost magma well magma we're getting magma 
And the other form is the fucking lottery form. The freaking pop the freaking uh lottery buckle. We're getting that as well. And yeah. <laughs> listen. Listen. Jeets and Black Sun are damn it. I can totally see Jeets being in my top five. Hell, even in my top ten. I can totally, I can totally see that show being up there because damn that show is just so fucking good. I can totally see this show replacing Agito on my list at number seven, and I will be mad about that. Jeet felt like Jeet felt like something that Jeet felt like Kamen Rider need like a fresh restart. After Zero One Saber and Revice, and uh, I honestly like that. For I got this, for I got this is my opinion, so just want to clarify that. Please do not come after me, harass me, or do anything like that. This, this is just my opinion for saying that. Yeah, though, it felt like Jeet. It felt like a Jeet felt like a fresh restart for Kamen Rider, and I, I really love it though. I do though. So good, so good, so good. So good though, and I love it. <laughs> I'm loving it so far. I love the characters. I love the soundtrack. Even though Trust Last is growing on me, it's still, still not my favorite. But yeah, I love the intro songs. I Peace and. Wait, what's the other one again? Fuck, I forgot. Did, 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 do. It was that yeah, I Peace, which is K Watts intro song and uh beat to my life, which is Nagos. I still two of my favorites from from the still two of my favorites, so yeah. So so yeah, that's that's still good to hear. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm really loving Jeets, so there's <laughs> also that too. What's, what's the world for a couple? Oh, yeah. So, Boku, how's life going for you? Not gonna lie, life been, uh, kicking me in the butt. That's the best way to describe it. How's that? Well, uh, this week hasn't been the best to me. I know I have been updating you guys about, about my, about, no, about IRL, about what I'm doing. I'm thinking about, thinking about creating my job. I'm not going to yet. No, I'm going to wait until like I, until until certain something comes up soon. Something like I said that. It almost sounds like I'm playing this thing. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not though. I'm not though. Relax. What I mean is this. Before I create, I want, want, want to go so I want sorry. Before I create, I want to go job searching for a new job. So yeah. Ayo, hey, offline TV, you hiring? <laughs> no, okay. I live, I live down, I live in Ohio. They live in fucking California. There's no way how that shit happening. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. It would be crazy though if they uh if offline TV. I don't know. Let's say fucking. Scara or Toast or Lily, anyone DM and say, "Hey, bro, kid, you want to come to LA?" I'm like, "Oh shit, huh? what the fuck? What's this? What's this? You guys pay for my ticket and all that? Oh shit, hell yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, that shit ain't happening. <laughs> that shit ain't happening. Yeah, no. <laughs> but yeah, I I have been thinking about that. I would totally be down working. I would totally be down to be. I would totally be down to uh, work." With uh, offline TV, I like the content. I have my I have my issues here and there with them. Well, with well, with have my issues here and there with them with uh with the content. But at the same time, I have like more positive than negatives. I can say, and I would I would be totally down. I would be totally down to hang out with them. Shit, I don't live in California, but yeah, I would totally be fucking down. I don't know, dude. I could always see myself. I, I could always see myself having like a good job down there working with them. Work. <laughs> I could totally see myself having a good a good job down there, in California, working my dream job. 
Hell, who knows? Who know? Me, who know me? Who know? Maybe me being a photographer that would be my dream job. And well, I'll get paid pretty good though. So yeah, for that. <laughs> Even for that though, you got my my dream job mostly right now to be a photographer. You got, I'm really good at taking pictures and. If you, if you see my Instagram page, you know that I take a picture. I'm not trying to flex myself. He's my, I'll put my ego up out there. But I'm just saying. So, yeah. But, yeah, though, I will, I'll, I'll be really down. <laughs> Hello, Offline TV. I'm a big fan of your... I'm a big fan of you guys' work. My name's Aaron, and I'm my ultimate name book, Satsu. I talk about I talk about Tokusatsu and uh, all the superhero stuff on my YouTube channel. Mainly comic, mainly Marvel, DC, Dragon Ball, Kamen Rider, Power Ranger, Ultraman, Sentai, and uh, yeah. If you guys want to like talk to me, hang out on, on Discord. My uh, I have my DMs are open on Twitter, <laughs> Instagram, and uh, yeah. I think I gotta see this. Hell no, nah. but if it did, holy crap, that'd be pretty crazy. <laughs> ay, yeah, yeah. This, it'll be just and good, but still, it'll be crazy though. Ah, uh, man, I, I can't. I fucking can't. I fucking can't. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. But uh, yeah, but yeah, back on saying though is uh, Jitsuki. I don't know what the fuck to talk about. <laughs> what the fuck? Ay, ay, ay. Uh, ay, ay, ay. Well, I can say this for at least. I was supposed to do a toy review today, but, uh, well, it will come out, well, I'll release it tomorrow. I haven't filmed it. I haven't filmed, I haven't filmed a review. I was supposed to release a toy review on Beast More for Yellow. Never did. And don't worry, I will be doing one on Vice. Don't worry. After the Lightning Collection one, I'm going to do one on Vice. And uh, after Vice, that's that. After I release the Vice video, that's all the revised figure arts I have up on my channel for figure reviews. I'm not buying Gene, not buying that, not buying Live. Why? I think, I think the Live figure looks like shit. It's getting my language, but it looked god awful, and I, and I hate it. Don't I wouldn't say hate it. I just, I just it just doesn't look good in my opinion. So yeah. So yeah, that so <laughs> yeah. So. So yeah, that's what's up. Funny yeah, I say that I don't like Levi for yet my profile picture is a fucking profile picture of two suits two two of my favorite suits from both of my least favorite comedy shows. <laughs> ah the irony Well to be fair, you can like it for well to be fair, you can like a good looking suit, but also at the same time, you can dislike a show. Like Levi had a lot of good suits. Some bad that was my opinion, but yeah, at the same time, I'm just, same time. I'm not a big fan of the show. You see what I'm trying to say? You can just like you can dislike a show, but at the same time, you can like a suit. And don't gatekeep. Just don't fucking gatekeep. Speaking of gatekeeping, so did anyone know about? So did anyone know this? Yesterday, a fucking jackass. Was trying to gatekeep Hercules, Hercules on Twitter, because Hercules didn't see every com every commenter show. And I'm like, and who are you? Oh, so I have to say this: the same guy, the same fucker that said that, he deleted his channel after getting called out. Buddy, you shouldn't have gatekeep. You shouldn't have gatekeep my friend. And yet you didn't thought you didn't thought any consequences. About it, you fucking idiot. Number one rule, Tokusatsu: do not gatekeep anything. That just makes you a fucking asshole. I hate gatekeeping. That's just stupid. Don't do that. It's annoying. Trust me, I trust me. This is coming from me, and I, and I used to gatekeep a lot in 2020. Not anymore. I stopped. I learned my ways and habits. So yeah. But yeah, don't gatekeep. Don't gatekeep. Don't gatekeep. That's just that just make you a fucking asshole. And you don't want you don't want me there. <laughs> so uh, I got back. So I got back playing Dragon Ball Fighters. Got my ass kicked last. Got got my ass kicked yesterday. 
Because, well, I was really stressful and mad that work pissed me off. And I, I decided and I decided to do is play fighters. And damn, I got my ass kicked. I got cooked. I got cooked, like, badly. And that, that like, not the best way I can describe it, though. I got fucking cooked. I got my ass kicked. Shit. <laughs> yeah, though, that... Fuck, I was so close from winning two all those matches, but damn it. Yeah, I decided to go. I decided. I decided. I, I decided that I'm gonna go back and, and to play Dragon Ball Fighter. And I figure out my main: Gogeta Blue, Janimba, and the third one. And the third one, I mean, Perfect Sen. I haven't tried. I haven't tried them online yet. But it's GT Kid Goku, mostly because his size advantage you know, for only matches can work with like Krillin, and that'll be perfect. And that'd be perfect too. So yeah. So yeah, though, yeah, though, I'm trying, yeah, though, yeah, though, I'm trying my best to uh, get better at only matches. <laughs> and uh, well, how's that going for you, Boku? We're getting there. Again, I got my ass kicked all yesterday on those match on all my only on, on all the online matches. I'm trying to get better. So yeah. Prepare yourself for next time, fools. <laughs> and yeah, the, and yeah. Next time, we're gonna try better. That's for sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. This podcast is like silent, silent. I just, I'm just relaxing right now while talking about what's on my mind. So, oh yeah, speaking of relaxing and minds and all that crap. Valentine's Day is almost here. Well, for those that have like a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a partner, make that day special for them. What about for you, Broku? Oh, I have no one. <laughs> ah, the uh, the story of my life. I have no one. Nothing. I have like no one, so I won't be. I don't like Valentine's Day. As a Valentine's Day. Why Valentine's Valentine's Day? The type of day. That always get me really angry for being well single. And I remember back in 2019, I made a video called Valentine's Day Suck, I think. And uh, it was a it was a weird rant I made. <laughs> that rant's stupid. You can't find my channel anymore. No, I think I deleted it. But uh, it was a it was a it was a Valentine's Day rant. Me shitty <laughs> Valentine's Day. Just gonna clarify saying this. I don't think Valentine's Day need. I don't think. I don't think we need Valentine's Day, mostly because every. Mostly because, why have one day to celebrate that one, with the love of your life, and yet you pretty much have, a life and attorney every fucking day to hang out with that person you love. And my, you see, in my eyes, every day is Valentine's Day. That's just me because well, you wake up, you wake up. You see your you see your girlfriend, your fiance, or your lover, or partner. To be fair, all they all look in the same category in my eyes, but still. And uh that's pretty much yeah, you see you yeah, you see your lover, your girlfriend, your your boyfriend right right, right next to you in fucking bed. And uh well, how can I say the best way about about getting uh, this channel, this video deleted or monetized. Uh, not monetized. But, uh. Every day is Valentine's Day in my eyes because you get to spend that one day with the one person for the rest of your life. One of these days I'll get a girlfriend. Just not now. Just. Yeah, right now. Right now, with, with the situation I'm in, with work and all that, trying to save up for Power Morphic Comics, not doing good. Yeah, right now, not the, right now, not the best time for me to get to have a lover. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, speaking of lover, no, I have, I have, I have like no update on the fucking ring, Akiko Rinko, the Red Apple, uh, John, J drama. Me and my friend are not watching the episode because, well, we're going to, because, well, we're going to watch the next one, the the. The last episode, episode three, and next episode, episode four, next week, back to back. And oh boy, oh boy, that's gonna be a fun one. I'll talk about both of them on the next podcast. But uh, yeah, <laughs> last week's episode, I talked about about the plot and the episode itself. And my fucking god, 
Why did I say like that in that episode? Why? 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 Just, just why? <laughs> just why? <laughs> now, I don't know how I said it, but, uh, if you watch that episode, I said Hammy's actress in this show. Oh, she is! And, uh, guess what? And guess what she called Jules' character in the show? Her pet. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Who the fu I know this manga is fucked up and all, but Jesus fuck Christ. This show better not get season two. If oh God, if we get in season two, I'll be so mad. I know the manga is still going on, but fucking hell, dude. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? So anyway, going, moving on from that crap. <laughs> what the fuck? Moving on from that crap. Right now, Black History Month is doing all right for me. Right, right now, in the beginning, I'm doing pretty good. Well, we're like what? We're like well, eleven days in Black History Month. Holy shit! The first couple of days have been pretty good, but right now, it felt like, I feel like, ah, shit, damn it, I just don't feel, damn it, I just, well, I'm just not, I wasn't feeling, no, I, no, I have a lot of goals for this year, and one of them, and one of them created my fucking damn job that I hate, because, well, that place just, I really don't like that place, oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I just want to say this for those that watch it, for those that watch my uh, th thank you, thank you guys for watching my freaking uh, Gogeta version Broly video because that video got like seventy eight four likes, one comment and seventy eight views. God damn, that's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Hey, we have six twenty subscribers. Let's go. And uh, yeah, guy, thanks for that. <laughs> that video took like what? I think. A whole week to work on because I had the concept idea after the Aaron vs. Goku Black video. Cause I wanted to do like a mini continuation, and uh, you know, it looked it looks like that I did pretty good. That's pretty good to hear. I do have plans to make more Dragon Warrior video. I probably I'm probably gonna make it. I'm probably gonna make it like a, I'm probably gonna make it into like a series. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about all that. Sorry. I'm thinking of doing for the next one is uh, Trunks, Aaron, my CAC, on uh, Universe 2, and uh, Xeno Goku, possibly, or Vegeta, one or two, fighting Janimba, while the, while, while the other time patrollers, including time, including, let's say, let's say a time patrol, let's say Xeno Goku, or Xeno Vegeta, one or two, I got, I'm still thinking about, I'm still thinking about how I want, how I want to work the whole thing out. Helping the other two time patrollers, Frostbite and Rosalina, find Turles. So yeah, you basically you could basically tell that I want to make I want to make my own version of Super Dragon Ball, my my own version of Dragon Ball Heroes, <laughs> with these videos. And uh, honestly, with the way I'm doing right now, it's actually working pretty well. <laughs> ay ay ay. If I don't go ask, no, I did not use no mods. I use my PS Five. Because well, on the Xenoverse two, you can, you have this option. You have this option. 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 You have this option called character customization that that allow you to change the color of of the customized character, the outfit. And uh, I decided that I want I want Super Saiyan Four Gogeta to look like his Super Dragon Ball Hero counterpart. I try to make the belt blue. The same color blue, blue like in the picture, but they didn't have that. So I'll stick a green in the closest, and that's honestly the closest thing to the belt for being blue, because in the Ban Pretzel statue, his color of his, of his, uh, well, of his belt is green. So I don't know what's up with that, but the, but that's the best I can do for it. So yeah. Also, if you watch that video too, you see that Goku's wearing his Xeno color, the black and blue. 
We wait for Vegeta. I didn't unlock him all that time, but uh, I did unlock it after getting Gogeta's customization colors unlocked. So yeah, you you'll probably see those colors for Vegeta in the next Dragon Ball Web video. So yeah, and uh, what is it, and what else can I talk about? <laughs> oh yeah, fuck! I get to, I forgot about this. Uh, they're making a yo donut. They're making a uh, they're making a yo donut park three. You can say. I'm actually excited for it. Now, I love your donut. I love Momoki Nasuko. Fuck, this girl's a queen. Ugh. I love Momoki Nasuko. My name's Aaron. Aaron this. And, uh, Yogo Shu guys. <laughs> Hello. I love Momoki Nasuko. My name's Aaron. I'm a big fan. And I, I, I would love to meet you one of these days. <laughs> Thank you for watching this podcast episode. <laughs> Have a nice day. Well, yeah, have a nice day. I know that I know that it's daytime I know that it's like daytime in Japan right now, so there's also that too. So yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, 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 the part three. You're doing part three. And guess who's in it? Flint's in it from Zinkaiger. Well see well she's playing Tomato's Tomato's fucking girlfriend in this special. And I might have a Tomato. Oh, speaking of Flint, what I pointed out about a couple, of, couple of, like like a couple of days ago, her actress, Flint's actress, saw my Instagram story and me reposting her latest, po her latest post on my story, and she saw it. And I lost my shit. I'm like, holy crap! Okay, okay, I'm cooking right now. This is awesome. Also, Ginga Green's actress on my story as well. Fuck yeah! And I just finished watching Ginga Man last month too. Hell yeah! Ah, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, though. So, yeah, uh, I'm excited for you doing part three. I know a lot of people don't like... I know a lot of people don't like the special. That's fine. But, uh, I actually like them because it's like a... Per it's like a, uh, guilty pleasure for me. Also, no, nothing inappropriate. I just, I just like... I just love the Donuts character. That's it. So, there's also that, too. I'm excited to watch this, and this is gonna be this is gonna be a fucking weird ass love story because Tom and Cole finally about to get your down after all these years. <laughs> because goddamn, I fucking love this yo gamer. This motherfucker, this motherfucker been simpy for t for your down ever since. Well, the first time he saw her, and that, and yeah, he was still simping for her after all the time she tried to kill him and his, and his friends. Tom and Cole. Tomiko, you have my fucking respect, boy. Uh, I will always be there for you. One of my, one of my favorite yells. <laughs> Go watch Kira Major, guys. It's, it's a it's a fun show. Turn your brain off. It's fun, stupid, and enjoyable. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what pretty much Toku needs. That's basically Dawn Brothers right now as well. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching this. this th thank you all for watching this 24th episode of the Bloku Cast. My name is Aaron, or Bloku, so if you want to call me. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow my social media in the description. And uh oh yeah, uh thank for thank thanks for all those thanks for all those subscribers that 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 stick with me since day one of this channel. Back in like what, I think twenty seventeen? Yeah, twenty seventeen. Holy crap, that, that was a long time ago. <laughs> and uh yeah though, follow my social media in the description and uh keep my notification but keep my notification button up on that video which will be a toy review. And uh, yeah, guys, my name's Aaron, and uh, I'm out. Peace.